Well, my family was a very musical family, and uh, uh, they all could, most of them could sing real well and dance and do all these things. I don't know if it's in the genes or what, but that was my the way my family was. Um, I was uh, I was a, uh, a drummer. I was in I was I played drums for what 30, 35 years in different bands and things. Brenda's danced to my music a few times. And cool. I was always the one in the class that the teacher got to do the artwork whenever they needed a little special project. We didn't have art in school then. And even in high school we didn't have art in schools. Thank goodness they do now. Uh, but I was just one of those kids that seemed to have a knack for it. And so the teachers that I had that recognized that kind of pushed me, you know, in that direction, encouraged me. So I stayed with it and eventually, you know, got to go learn a little bit about the real technical part of it and the mechanics of painting and so on. I studied art at East Tennessee State, East Tennessee State University. Uh, we began farming here in the mid-70s and uh, had, had the family farm going here. And I also did a little bit of painting and drawing and got into it more so as we got out of farming, changed over. So brought this old log cabin down here and rebuilt it and built the gallery around it uh, to have a place to work and sell our artwork. And of course then we got on the art circuit and started going to wildlife art shows because wildlife art was my things, what I was mostly interested in. And uh, so uh, and that's how this whole place began to grow. We started out with the art and uh, went on into uh, the kitchen and the catered events and the different uh, things that we do here now. Uh, 